Hello, welcome to IELTS Audio. In this video, I will do a section from the speaking test of the language search C2 master exam. I'll do the third part. And before that, I wanted to know that I got 46 and 50 in this section of the exam. In speaking, I got 46 and 50, which is high pass, of course. And uh, the reason I show you this result is because I want you to be wary of the fake people on the internet. They say they have achieved a lot or they say they know a lot, but they never show you something that applies to themselves. So be very cautious about whom you choose to teach you. Uh, as has been proven by me through the case of Chris Pell, um, I want you to be cautious about your teachers also so that you do not fall into any traps or anything. Now let's come to the question. In the third part, what happens is that you are given a picture with a with a lot of components and uh, you have to describe each of them and uh, you have to select the limits as in which is the best and which is the worst uh, the thing is that in this part even the interlocutor participates with you but that is not possible here because i'm the only person right now so i'll speak for the complete time i'll speak for the four minutes which is the speaking time but in that um, even the interlocutor has a part to play most probably because it has been a while since I took the exam. So it could be after four minutes, but uh, as far as I remember, it was in those four minutes only that the interlocutor participated and asked me some questions, but it's okay. Now, um, let me see the picture myself first. I do not, uh, you know, do any kind of cheating with my viewers. I will prepare, uh, myself for this task in the video only and I will take proper time and you know for the preparation part you get 20 seconds so I have my timer with me I'll show you but let's read the question first now part three we are going to discuss something together as I said the interlocutor will take part also uh, here is a list of some factors that may be important for personal happiness let's discuss the different factors and decide the most and the least important ones for us take 20 seconds to think about what you want to say Please start and okay. So remember, uh, it's also about uh, telling the interlocutor the best thing and the worst thing here. And I will do that also. Um, but uh, first of all, let me have the picture in front of me properly. So I'm going to start my preparation time now. So I can set a timer or something. Now what I do is that I, I will set a timer for four minutes now and uh, I'll place it somewhere here only. Let me turn up the volume. Fine. And uh, okay, so four minutes, that means. So this illustration tells me about uh, what factors can make us happy. And the first one is being loved, which I agree with because being loved uh, produces some kinds of uh, hormonal entities in us and they are the ones responsible for making our brains feel, feel happy. So that is a parameter for sure. I think those hormone or hormones or those chemical substances are called uh, something of these sorts, dopamine, oxytocin and all. 
having a job you are passionate about this again is something very important because when you're passionate about something and you get it as your occupation then you are then you are doing it uh, you know you know regularly and when you do something regularly and that thing uh, actually makes you merry then nothing is better than that if you have a job you're not passionate about then you are doing something opposite you are doing something that you don't like and that too on a daily or a regular basis and that means you are having a having a regular dose of frustration so that is going to make you unhappy for sure and this one is going to make you happy finding time for yourself this is more about i think relaxation than about being happy because uh, when you find time for yourself you introspect you get to know yourself and that leads to a scrutiny that brings forth both the faults and the flowers both the right things and the wrong things so you might find something wrong with yourself and that may produce a little bit of sadness it can make you find something you know bright also and you might be gay afterward but uh, as in the chances are equal for uh, both these emotions so this is more about contentment or rationality rather than as i said being happy being healthy yeah this is a significant factor again because if you are healthy your body is working properly and then you are able to do whatever you want to do and nothing is nothing is more satisfying than that of course i cannot say that satisfaction is you know is the same as happiness but uh, satisfaction is a is an indicator of happiness for sure or it's a parameter of happiness for sure if you are satisfied you are going to be happy because satisfied people do things they want they have uh you know time for love and time for their work so they kind of go ahead and have themselves uh, gotten happy having good friends uh, this is a bit i would say not important because as far as i am concerned because we are not uh, so humane that uh, even though we are humans but we are not so so humane that uh, uh, having good friends is going to make us happy we kind of have friendships just for our own you know selfish motives and even if our friends are good we are going to become bad in the, i think if our friends are good we are going to become bad in those cases and we are going to be the ones who are going to spoil the friendships so this is something very neutral good friends bad friends friends are friends you do not need them much i think having a well paid job money can buy happiness for sure because if you have a well paid job you can go to the movies you can buy clothes you can buy sandals you can buy anything you want or you can travel a lot so that means you are having you know a veil of time a veil of life i would say so if you are having everything so good uh, i don't think happiness is going to stay back it will it is going to come to you and the most important factor then i will have to uh, zero in on um, i would say having a well paid job only because money is the most important thing in life if you don't have money you can't do anything even your passions will you know die away and uh, if you have money you can actually develop passions afterward and uh, you can if you have money friends will come if you have money you will find time for yourself and the least important is i think having friends because they are of no use they are selfish people they are snakes in the grass and in their absence nothing is going to go wrong so fuck them time was over so um this is something you can do i think i have not been able to perform properly today um i'm sorry for that uh, but um, even if you don't get a very high score for this answer the score will be i think good enough so if you like this video give it a like if you want to ask me something leave a comment and share this video with someone who might need it and uh, please subscribe to my channel thank you very much